Welcome to the antechamber. I'm not shouting too much because my colleagues do these two downstairs. You see all the minerals you used to see. And what you will see, which you didn't uh, at the top when we get out today, you'll see at the top of a mine shaft. You look across at Matlock and you'll see a lovely wooden platform. That mine shaft goes all the way down and came up the bottom cabin. From the top of the mine shaft down into that lower cabin, it's 150 feet. And that was put in by Mr. Tinker. That was his name, Mr. Tinker. And he mines here with his family in 1698. And it only took him about nine years to clear all this floor and the floor below of Ledbridge Mud. Yeah, not bad at all. And as you look around here, you'll see all the minerals we talked about. The iron, the lead, the Sydney black rock which glistens, that's zinc, calamine. And then you get your eye on that. That's a miner's plaque. And because the mines became so valuable, <coughs> you start to put the names on the wall. And the TW and EW, it's Thomas and Ursula Whitworth. They were like the mine managers. I have an MF at ISI Fern and Mordecai Fern. Two brothers worked down there here into the 70s. Mordecai died when he was about 103, believe it or not. Isaiah Fern died about 90, and he had anywhere between 10 and 12 wives in his lifetime. He married a young girl about 15, and probably within 12 years she was dead. T.W. was Thomas Wood. He was a young lad who got killed in a rock fall the day before he was 16. And being wise, Bernie Young, he went up to fight for the king and got his leg blown off. So his job was to sit at the bottom of the mine shaft and pass the empty buckets to the miners, and the miners would fill them up. And he'd drag these big heavy buckets, shout up the shaft, pass them on the road, and the women would winch them up. And people say, how come there's no stalactites and stalactites down here? Well, you need water, dripping water. Tights hang down, mites on your carpet. And that's because of a thing called the Derby Dome. If you imagine a sponge cake, sponge, cream sponge, here you've got rock, clay rock. And the Derby Dome is the clay. Where it starts at the top of the hill, goes to the river. But if you do the bottom tour, the first 50 metres is wet because you're outside that clay layer. And to prove this is part of the ocean, you might see some funny circle marks on the ceiling. Wow. And that's yeah. where bottom dwelling is actually part of the bottom. And here's the clay layer, we dug through it, to it lets water come in. We don't go looking at the cool of the water, it's rainwater up on the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> But you see the way the water runs down, and it runs across that stone, and that's the news we have to start, right? That's called the flowstone. Please touch it in the area. It looks yeah. green and slimy, but it's lovely. Yeah. Because it's green and slimy, the miners call it snot rock, the miners stay. Right. So, you will go out the cabin now. If you've got any questions about Ryber Castle or the valley opposite, wait for me. You go first, for safety reasons. Can I just thank you for being patient because it is a bit busy today and you all have been crushed together. So if you've enjoyed my tour today, I tell everybody to remind you, my name is Russ. If you haven't enjoyed your tour today, I tell people my name is Mary. <laughs> <laughs> so off you go guys, I'll let you go first. Thank you. Thank you.